The unseen reality of America's dark star, beyond fiction. Imagine a world where the line between fiction and reality blurs, where the unimaginable becomes tangible. Picture an aircraft, not just any aircraft, but one capable of soaring at 2 miles per second. Yes, you heard that right. Such a speed means it could traverse from the United States to Europe or Asia in a mere 90 minutes. This is not just a scene from a blockbuster movie but a potential reality. Remember Tom Cruise's character in Top Gun? Maverick, piloting a fictional hypersonic jet? Now, a mock-up of this very aircraft, named the Lockheed Martin Dark Star, is on display at Edwards Air Force Base during the Aerospace Valley Open House Air Show and STEM Expo. Buckle up, because we're about to explore the tantalizing possibility that this isn't just a mock-up, but a real, functioning marvel of modern engineering. Echoes from the past, the State Route 71 Blackbird. Our journey begins in the mid-60s when Americans started noticing strange phenomena in the skies, unusual noises and mysterious sonic booms. Questions swirled in the media and among official bodies. Was it aliens, or something out of H.G. Wells' War of the Worlds? The truth was far more terrestrial yet equally astonishing. The U.S. government had to admit that these phenomena were caused by the State Route 71 Blackbird, a reconnaissance aircraft decades ahead of its time. Created in 1964, the Blackbird boasted incredible speeds of 2,200 miles per hour and a maximum altitude of 16 miles. It was a marvel, successfully used during combat operations in Vietnam where it proved invincible to enemy attacks. In general, the State Route 71 was the only aircraft that the Vietnamese failed to hit. But in 1998, the Blackbird was withdrawn from service. At that time, there was no substitute for it. But already in our time, the story with mysterious sounds is repeated. The return of the sonic boom, the Dark Star emerges. Fast forward to November 2014. Residents along the east coast of the United States and southern UK were startled by eerie, explosive sounds. These mysterious noises, captured on recordings, lacked an official explanation. Speculation abounded, with one of the most plausible theories suggesting these sounds were the result of testing a top-secret aircraft, the Dark Star. Some reports hinted that this aircraft was being developed as a successor to the legendary State Route 71 Blackbird, promising even greater capabilities. The Hypersonic Frontier. State Route 72 Development. The Dark Star, or more officially the State Route 72, is being developed under Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs, with around 85% of the work shrouded in secrecy. This hypersonic drone is designed to serve dual roles as both a reconnaissance and combat vehicle. Efforts to create a worthy successor to the State Route 71 have been ongoing, with significant developments reported since 2007. In 2013, Aviation Week and Space Technology revealed information about the State Route 72, causing such a stir that their servers crashed from the traffic. In July 2017, the prototype was flight tested at a test range. In 2018, Lockheed Vice President Jack O'Banion spoke at an event and said that the development of hypersonic technology would soon put the new aircraft in service. An engine with a special cooling system has been created for this drone. The State Route 72 aircraft will be equipped with two engines. The first turbojet will provide acceleration of the airplane to a speed of Mach 3. This speed allows the launch of a dual-mode ramjet engine which will provide the power to fly at hypersonic speeds. The aircraft will use a single nozzle for both engines to reduce drag. The biggest challenge in developing hypersonic propulsion has always been the gap between the highest speed turbojet engine and the lowest speed ramjet engine. Whether this technology has been created is unknown. Turbine engines can typically only reach speeds up to Mach 2.2, well below the speed needed to launch a hypersonic engine. Most cannot ignite at speeds below Mach 4. Mysterious sounds and future prospects. Since its retirement in 1998, the State Route 71 Blackbird left a noticeable void in high-speed reconnaissance. But the mysterious sounds heard along the east coast of the United States and southern UK in 2014 suggest that the silence might be short-lived. These sounds, resembling explosions or gunshots, were recorded and widely shared, fueling speculation about the existence of a new hypersonic aircraft. The State Route 72, still shrouded in secrecy, promises to be twice as fast as the State Route 71, with speeds reaching 4,400 miles per hour. It's designed not just for reconnaissance but also for combat, equipped with onboard weapons and advanced propulsion systems. 
Lockheed Martin's advanced development programs have been instrumental in pushing the boundaries of what's possible, despite much of their work remaining classified. The development of the State Route 72 has faced significant technical challenges, particularly in bridging the speed gap between turbojet and ramjet engines. Traditional turbine engines max out at Mach 2.2, far below the Mach 4 required for hypersonic flight. The demonstrator aircraft is expected to be ready for its first flight as early as this year 2023 the State Route 72 should be in service by 2030. The first Blackbird was an unarmed reconnaissance aircraft. The State Route 72 will have a new high-speed strike weapon. It will fly at Mach 6 or 4,603 miles per hour and this potentially unmanned aircraft will be armed and available to conduct precision airstrikes in complex combat environments that may be too risky for slower manned fighters. But what are these high-speed strike weapons? Conventional missiles like the AGM-158 air-to-ground missile which has a speed of 0.85 Mach or the AIM-120 MROM air-to-air missile, which has a speed rating of 4 Mach, will not equip the new Blackbird. It will simply overtake its own missiles and become a target for them. Therefore, there can be two options. The most realistic one is a hypersonic missile with a direct-flow air jet engine being developed under the Hawk program. Hawk is a hypersonic weapons development program being developed in cooperation with defense giant Lockheed Martin and Aerojet Rocketdyne. The final test flight brings the US closer to developing its hypersonic weapon, thus the program comes to an end. Both Lockheed Martin and competitors Raytheon and Northrop Grumman have successfully completed the test flight. During the flight, the munition flew at an altitude of 18 kilometers. The range was more than 500 kilometers. At the same time, its speed amounted to Mach 10. Such a high speed allows the launching of such missiles from an airplane, which itself flies at the speed of Mach 6. The second option is the use of laser weapons. It's known that the same company, Lockheed Martin, in July 2022 reported that at the beginning of the year delivered to the US Air Force High Energy Laser Weapon Lance. Lance stands for Laser Advancements for Next Generation Compact Environments. The recipient of the new weapon is the Air Force Research Laboratory, or AFRL, which is responsible for developing and integrating new technologies in air, space, and cyberspace. Tyler Griffin, Lockheed's chief executive, stated that Lance is the smallest, lightest, and highest energy laser in its power class that Lockheed Martin has built to date. Back in 2017, Lockheed Martin tested a new 60-kilowatt combat laser. The technology used by the company resulted in an average 50% reduction in power consumption compared to solid-state lasers. The U.S. Army recognized the tests as a success and signed acceptance documents. That same year, the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory awarded Lockheed Martin, Boeing, and Northrop Grumman a contract for just over $26 million under the SHIELD, Self-Protect, High Energy Laser Demonstrator Program. Boeing handled the capsule and tethering of the system to the aircraft while Northrop Grumman handled the beam control system, which aims the laser at the target and holds it there until it's destroyed. Last year, the beam control subsystem was handed over to the customer. Lockheed Martin has been busy reducing the size of its land-based laser system and solving the problem of its cooling on aircraft. Five years later, the installation was shrunk to one-sixth the size of the Army's. It fits in the capsule. Whether the power of the Army laser was retained is not reported. After all, it was not only about the miniaturization of the installation, but also about reducing the power consumption of lands. It will not be possible to put a generator on the fighter aircraft which is used by the ground forces. It is only known that during ground tests in New Mexico, the Lance prototype shot down several air-to-ground missiles, so this problem has been solved. Now there are intensive talks that laser weapons will be equipped with a sixth-generation fighter, the development of which is being carried out within the framework of the NGAD, Next Generation Air Dominance Project. Of course a laser in a capsule is not suitable for this, after all in this case no invisibility is out of the question, but progress is clearly visible. In five years Lockheed Martin managed to reduce its laser for ground forces by five times, therefore it's quite possible to assume that in another seven years, i.e. by the time the NGAD fighter is planned to be transferred to the military, laser weapons will already have acceptable weight and size characteristics. But by that time, it's also planned to create a new Blackbird. So it's quite possible that the hypersonic missile we mentioned earlier will be used to destroy ground targets and the laser weapon will be used to fight against enemy aircraft and missiles. And it may well turn out that the sixth generation fighter will be the State Route 72. And it doesn't meet any stealth technology. 
With such speed, it's not afraid of any air defense. Anti-aircraft missiles, even of the praised Russian complex S-500 Prometheus, will not catch up with it. And they'll only observe the powerful exhaust of a hypersonic Blackbird. In conclusion, a ton of viewers noticed at the beginning of the video we talked about the Dark Star airplane, and then we started talking about the new Blackbird. The new airplane doesn't have an official name, at least in the open press, but in our opinion, the airplane should be called the State Route 72 Dark Star. Let the unique Blackbird be one, as well as the unique State Route 72 Dark Star. Do you support our opinion? Write about it in your comments below. If you enjoyed the video, give us a thumbs up as a reward for our labor and support of our work. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel so as to not miss new, interesting videos about modern weaponry. See you soon.